All right, everybody, welcome on back. It's Barstool Boxing. It's large, and we're in Philly about to talk with Jarrell Miller, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. I don't know if I like the new spiritual. Uh, it's always been there. It's always been there. People always talk to me, so they never see the side of me. You know what I mean? Right. So once you sign a contract, I'm whooping your ass. Let's talk then about the idea of where your body is now versus where it was ver Dubois, Correct. right? So you're, you're slimmed down to a point where you probably haven't seen this weight in quite some time, right? Since 2019. Since 2019. So how does that change it up where everyone kind of thinks that you're just going to be a bully in there versus Andy who's considered a smaller heavyweight? Yeah. Like, is there something that we're going to see different or are we going to see Jarrell Miller come through? Because I know you'd lost the Dubois fight. Right? And I know that hurts to always lose a fight. But I think it just showed how you have an absolute fucking granite chin. Right? I mean, it was, it, it was, it was impressive to watch, you know? Right. It's, and I don't think that Andy's going to be able to do that f yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. So will you come out on your front foot again and just kind of keep coming at him? Where's, where's the pressure going to be at with the new look? The main thing is we be in condition. You know, I'm prepared for anything. If Andy wants to run, which he's not really a runner, um, I don't think he's going to be able to keep the condition up. Now, I've never seen a fight where Andy has gone, 10 or 12 rounds throwing over 30, 40 punches around. You know, there's going fights where I'm going 10, 12 rounds and I'm going 70, 80 punches around. So the main thing is me being able to do anything that I want to do. I don't care what his game plan is. You know what I mean? I know he's not knocking me the fuck out, so I don't care what he does. The main mm -hmm. thing is I want to punish him, I'm going to beat him into the ground. Um, just being myself, man, you know, sticking with the jab and hurt him. That's it, sticking with the jab and hurt him. And no matter what Andy does, man, I got I to gotta answer for his ass. In your history, right? In your right, where do you rank this fight versus Andy Ruiz as far as in terms of difficulty? Is this the most difficult fight that you've ever been in? He's not as strong as Dubois or a power puncher like Dubois. He's either make you or break you, you know, so. But you're at that inflection point, like mm. that 36 years old, 35, right? really. 35, you know, yeah. okay, so 35 years old. How much longer can he go at it? And does that put a certain degree of I don't know, immediacy on this 100%. camp and all this kind of stuff 100%. that you haven't felt before. Is that a distraction? Is that yeah. fucking with your mind? I mean, if, if you think about it, because, you know, nothing beats father time. So, you know, right. boxing is a short window sometimes. But, you know, thank God I am a heavyweight. And I have, you know, the most punishment I've ever taken in my whole entire career was in the Dubois fight. You know, a lot of fighters have taken worse punishment their, their whole entire career. So my thing is, okay, I took a, I took a bad loss, a fight I should have won. How do we regain our strength, confidence, and mental fortitude? Being in shape, don't step out of the gym again, don't blow up and wait again, and just being focused, you know what I mean? Just being laser focused after this fight. Whooping his ass and being laser focused. You look better now than I've ever seen you. And I started covering you in earnest in about 2018. One of the first boxing blogs I had written for Barstool had mapped out your road to becoming the undisputed, unified heavyweight champion of the world. A lot of shit has happened since then, but where we are right now is that you're stepping in the ring against Andy Ruiz on August 3rd. How do you feel this camp is going, first of all? Explain to me about the transformation that's happened in your body. Explain to me how much Sosa has to do with it. Explain to me how important it is to be here in Philly with guys like Bozy. Talk to me about what you've done so far in this camp. Um, you know, we dropped 40 pounds for this fight. You know what I mean? The main thing was just putting myself through hell. But as, like I said before, just a, the mindset had to be totally different that, you know, what I was, what I did before in the past worked, but coming up to the last fight with Dubois and, and Luke, Lucas Brown, right. didn't, didn't work. You know, even though we did get the Lucas Brown win, Dubois fight was too short notice. I had to get to camp, I had to get away, I had to get out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, being in Philly, you know, the city of brotherly love, man, it was just different. You know, I just needed somewhere that's gonna challenge me. You know, and being coming out here with, you know, with, uh, Boots and his dad, uh, Bozy, and down here in Philly was just a, it was a, it's a mindset. You know, it's a doghouse. You know, we have that in Brooklyn too, but Brooklyn's too comfort for home. You know what I mean? So, you know, I got too many friends in the neighborhoods. So, like, coming down is a little more different and just grinding it out. You know, 
I got my trainer, head trainer, just supposed to come down, you know, finally retired, you know, him on my neck, my boy Mike on my neck, you know, if it wasn't for Mike, I don't know if I lost the weight so quick too. Really? You know, you guys don't know about Mike yet, but you're going to definitely see him uh, okay. more on the cameras, you know what I mean? I mean, he was like my babysitter, my nutritionist, the cook, you know, did the laundry. I mean, Mike was my right hand guy in this camp, man. He was on me to say, eat the meals, eat the meals. Don't eat chips and, and cheeseburgers, you know, so the weight just started melting off. Let's talk about your opponents. Yeah, this yeah. kid owes you a lot. I'm a fan of I, I'm a fan of Andy. I think the Destroyer is a good fighter, a good yeah. fundamental fighter. I enjoy watching him. Correct. I enjoy but you turned him from a good fighter, watchable fighter, all that stuff, into a Mexican superhero, essentially, Correct. right? Correct. That's all over now, right? Mm. And now he's got to step in with you. And what's gonna happen from this fight is there's gonna be another title shot coming down the road Correct. for only one of you. Correct. Right? So getting in there and knowing what he owes you and all that 100%. stuff does that make it especially sweet to go in there and want to beat the brakes off this guy yeah, you know yeah. like i said before i even fuck you know, him up before, yeah. before i even get into it <clears throat> you know me and your good friends were cool uh, it's nothing personal nothing personal this business mm -hmm. but i gotta fuck my boy up you okay. know what i mean he, he he took opportunity that i lost and he, he made millions with it now it's my turn to come back to the top top of the throne and reclaim what's purposely, you no, know, what's mine. Did you expose Andy Ruiz saying that he's gonna be in shape for it? You obviously got in shape for it when we saw him deep throat in those fucking hot dogs. Yeah, you yeah. caught him almost listen, on camera yeah. with that. That was embarrassing, <laughs> right? You see that? Also, well, yeah, 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 listen, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, man, I, we all know, you know, I've, I know a lot of people around Andy for years, you know, Andy loves his food just like I do. Right. The thing about me is though, like, like I said, beside the one symbol with Dubois, I come in shape. You know, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I throw 80, 60 punches around. You know what I mean? He's been eating tacos and stuff like that that I've seen on his, on his Instagram and shit, man. I've been eating turkey, bacon, and egg whites for fucking a month now. I'm ready Discipline. to kill something. Yeah, yeah I'm ready yeah. to kill something, bro. So I'm not, I'm not playing with his ass. You, you know? sometimes cut to the quick. I know when we were, uh, when I first started writing about you, I think you had sent some flowers up to Deontay when he had his first kid, which was a diabolical <laughs> move. And then you were inside the press conference with uh, Anthony Joshua. I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read it. Listen, AJ, you sweet and low cotton candy, apple jack, apple juice, pansy, thong wearing sucker. You're lucky Eddie Hearn was between me and you or I would have busted your ass, but I got a date with your mom anyway. That's again, <laughs> that's some diabolical shit, but I love it. Like that's, that's what it. we need to kind of get these going. Yeah. So you kind of had your moment with Dante. You kind of had your moment with AJ. Yeah. Is there anybody in Andy's family you want to fuck with? Is there a cousin who can get these hands? A female cousin man, who can get these listen, nuts? Like what's man, up? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. No? I, I, man, I, honestly, like I said before, those things, when I say them, yes. I, kind of, I really kind of mean it. I kind of like those guys. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, Andy, it's hard for me to go outside of boxing and say something funny or disrespectful, even kind of catching because we don't have that kind of relationship. So by him making mistakes and going on Instagram, putting Taco Bells up and burritos and swallowing a hot dog, he's like giving me ammunition, right? Yes, yes. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's what I can really kind of go off of. Plus, he made all the money with AJ, so now I really got to fuck him up and get that money so back. So is that you know? why there's no animosity with you guys? Because you have that history? Yeah, that's kind of what it is. You know, like I said, you know, fighting is one of them type of things where you have to kind of, sometimes you got to create that beef. You know, like I have to go in my mind, in the back of my mind, and kind of create like this, this storyline where the reason why I got to whoop your ass, the like, reason why you're evil than me. And I didn't have it at first, but now it's like, okay, he got the AJ opportunity. I'm going to fuck him up because I'm going to piss that I get the AJ fight back or he's eating a hot dog. So this whole entire camp was really kind of mentally building up that war, building up that gas thing, the reason why I got to hate him right now. Are we not getting that outrageous Jarrell Miller? No, I'm still going to fuck shit up. Okay, good, man, because that's that's what I need, right? I mean, and nah, what nah, we nah. do is I find that you're one of those guys that sells fights oh, better nah, than nah, everybody nah. with the antics and all nah, that nah, kind nah, of we, stuff, we, so we can still nah, expect nah. that shit. I mean, listen, we still going to bring war. We still going to be jihad when we step in that ring. The, okay. thing, the thing is about it, like I said, with boxing is, you cannot be civilized in boxing. Outside of the ring, you have to. You know, I found, like I said, boxing is the easy part, man. Getting training and fighting is easy. I've been doing this since I was 14. It's the easiest part. Dealing with the bullshit managers, dealing with bullshit promoters, dealing with the outside uh, distractions, that's the hard part, you know, and finding faith and being closer to God and kind of like, you know, blocking those distractions out is, is, a good, is, is the hardest part. And that's why I needed to kind of refocus myself on the boxing game. And once you get that stuff out of the way, boxing is easy. I mean, train, coming to the gym every day and training, this is easy. It's simple. You have a regimen. You have a, you have a design plan to come here, train, eat well, beat people up, spar, and go to, and went to, go to the fight. I'm going to call bullshit right now. Now, boxing's easy when you're 6'4 <laughs> and a 290 pound fucking monster. It's not so easy when you're built like me.